<laughs> well, there's no restrictions to logging because there's only us that know the key anyway. Ah. Sometimes I'm on a when I'm on sites, you get um porno stuff suddenly appear out of nowhere. And they sort of have to close the meeting down and start again. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It does me edit. Morning. Morning, Morning, Carol. Morning. Morning. Carol. Morning. Hello, Carol. I don't think I, I am here, but <laughs> well, your iPad, can't you see Carol's you. iPad at the moment, so you are here. All right, yeah. Um, there you are. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? <laughs> You're all wrapped up this morning. Yeah, it's cold in my bedroom. I only have the heating on in Peter's room, up in the lounge, so it just warms up a little bit. Oh, leave the door open. I got my um. Second shirt. I've got a long sleeve T-shirt on as well. Yeah, it's not really cold yet, is it? Thirteen. <laughs> I suppose it's about 13, 13, I suppose it oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I, I can sit here some days, and if the wind's blowing the right way, I can see the net curtain going like this. <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to sort that out. I might get a phone call from in excess. I need some wood to make some big frames to put some secondary glazing on. Oh. It's double glazing, but it's bloody old and knackered, I think. <laughs> it's not the windows. It doesn't come through the glass. It comes through the surround bits, doesn't it? Perhaps it needs resealing again. <clears throat> it's all money, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Can you I not put, put something? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get um, a government grant to replace it all. So, oh, that's all right. Because I think we're entitled to some. Well, we. I think it wants dying. It's just a matter of persevering and getting hold of the right. The right person. <laughs> the right person at the right time. That's it. Because how's yeah? How's your arm, Chris? Oh, it's a lot less painful. Um, I've got the hospital. Got the, have you still got the plaster? Oh, yeah. Is it today you go? Yeah. I oh, still yeah. can't. I can see I can see I can yeah. change the bits. I, I can't do any more than that. Oh, mm. I, right, great. Just physically. You might have to have some physio on it, might you? Sure, <laughs> I will. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to get this plaster off. Oh, I it's, bet. Is it, is it getting all itchy? <laughs> Well, it's not that so much, but I, because you can't get it wet, it's it's washing up and having a wash and yeah. everything. It's so difficult. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, of course, I'm staying at my sister's still. Oh. She's gone off to New York. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So <laughs> <good morning. laughs> I was on the um, live webcam, you know, in Times Square yesterday. Mm. So I think they're three hours behind us and glorious sunshine. And we were here, torrential rain, wind. <laughs> oh, it was all awful, awful here about an hour ago, was it you? Yes, That's yes. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just down the road from you, mate. Yeah. Morning. 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 Bye. I'm only in love with having you at the moment, Carol. Oh, that's good then. Not far then. No, so whatever weather you're getting, guarantee I'm getting it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was forgetting that. Yeah. I'm just around the corner. <laughs> mm. I should be very, very pleased to go home. Yeah, I bet. Well, it's just so blinking boring because I can't go anywhere. I don't know anybody. It oh, might be I sunny didn't... in New York, but it's flipping. It's only nine degrees. Oh, uh, what have we got? Twelve at the moment. Yeah, well, it always gets a lot colder down there. In a few weeks' time, it'll be like minus nine over there. Yeah, it does. It is a lot colder. Oh yeah, that day. They get six feet of snow, don't they? They do yeah. indeed. Yeah. <clears throat> Hope you good luck. Yourself. Yeah, good luck to that one. <laughs> 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 I thought, oh, probably Joyce won't be coming today. She's got a couple of appointments. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't ask what they were. 
I had trouble getting in because it decided that the Zoom wanted updating, so I had to yeah, go right. through that. <laughs> that time of year, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I'm a bit late. <laughs> Never mind. Nice right. to see you. Yeah, thank okay. you. Hmm. And how's Anne? Um, I'm okay, so I've got an appointment at last for um, the sink camera down my neck. Oh, oh right. Right. Yeah. So Down your throat. Sorry? Down your down throat. throat. Yeah, from my stomach. Yeah. So right. When is it? So I've got an appointment at last. They phoned me up last night and said, can you come in Sunday? Oh, oh. that was quick then. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i said <laughs> well yeah. it's nice it's nice going in on a sunday because i went in for my checkup on a sunday and there was nobody yeah. there it's lovely i was in and out with it 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope it stays that way yeah i've got a choice if, if i'm really brave and i just let them put the camera down it's only a five minute job yeah oh. if you want sedation it takes an hour yeah and it's hard to drive afterwards right. and all that so it depends. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, well, I had when I went, I had the camera up my nose, yeah. just just down a little bit into my throat. Yeah. There were a couple of times I was oh, like this. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. um, I wouldn't I like it, I wouldn't like it all the way down. I Mel's, Mel only had that, and she didn't have um, any sedation. No, I've done. It's that. like she said, I want to be in and out of here. Bit. Of, Five minutes of discomfort and I'm out. I ain't staying yeah. here for an hour. Oh, <laughs> the trouble is I gag so easily. I've got, I'm very tender. I know yeah. I would. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, fingers crossed. Yeah. 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 Oh, dear. Well, at least, um, at least it's going down there and not up the other end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had that a few yeah. times. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's quite exciting as <laughs> well. Quite interesting. <laughs> You get, to watch, you get to watch the camera on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's your do no. All right. Does it hurt? Did it hurt? No, not really. Not really. Just a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Comfort, I suppose, isn't that? Yeah. Well, it, I always, well, sounds a bit blokey, but invariably it's two lovely lovely looking nurses so it distracts you anyway <laughs> what did me <laughs> it was oh. like ooh, i i did that it was at the dentist oh earlier in the year i forget we're in november and uh, <laughs> i was in there and there was my 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 dentist she's a lovely lady lovely young lady well, you know, anything below 30 or no, below 50 is lovely to me. And then <laughs> she was, she's really nice. And she had an, her normal assistant there, which is always a young girl. And then another trainee, I don't know if she was Polish or whatever. And I remember as I was going out, but you know, they had they'd done their bit, looked around and all that. And as I was going out, I sort of said, Oh, thanks ever so much. This is like dentist heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Being attentive <laughs> by three beautiful women. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. Hey, look, hey, look at this then. Yeah, aren't they good? Mm. I think everybody enjoyed it. Mm. I haven't got around to it. I went and watched fireworks instead. Oh. <laughs> They're very good. Is it good then? Yeah. Even twisting. Look at that. Oh, right. oh, that's good. That was funny yesterday. She sent this over and I was on Messenger and I was just typing, Oh, have you had your plaster off then? And yeah. <laughs> and it came before I hit the enter, it came up bloody <laughs> very nappy the plaster. I can't paint my own. <laughs> I had to sort of I stopped, I retyped something else. <laughs> I, I had great difficulty with the eyebrow. Yeah, they're always hard, aren't they? Yeah, no, good. It's a girl yeah. thing. Mm. No, I don't know about then, um, then I tried to do the bit of red hair coming across, and then I tried to wash it off again, and then I, <laughs> then I gave up. What did you use, Chris? 
it's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, it's acrylic or acrylic, yeah. Right. Oh. Horrible things. They stare at you and they look follow you around the room. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, it was um a good exercise. I that was our Joyce came up with a couple. Mm -hmm. Gosh. So, it's like pop up. It's sort mm. of the eye from space, really. Looking. Yeah. She did that one. No eyebrow. Uh, she did two. She did that yeah. one as, as more of a normal one. Yeah. And I thought, oh, these are great. And then what I did, I I put them both together. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <you're back. laughs> Good. That's a. Uh, the first I said to her. Um, this is very Andy Warhol. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and I said, so the one I put online has got like a double thing. Mm. Oh, that would be great. Make a good print, wouldn't it? Mm, it's very yeah. good. It's good. Because um, the more you look at it, actually, if I was to mirror one, one of them the other way around, then you'd have the, the piece of eye armour Poking, you know, it'd be more mm. balanced one each side, yeah. mm. but not. I suppose I could. She chickened out though and didn't do the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the other one, yeah. I think that was the hardest part. <laughs> well, it was for me with one wonky arm. <laughs> I think was that right, just yeah. with your left left hand, Chris? Yeah. Um, no, that's good. Well, that's, yep. that's, that's, lovely. that's nice. That's lovely. I like that one. It's really good. Brighten it up a bit. Mm. That's a very, very good eyebrow. <laughs> 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 I'm very jealous of your eyebrow. I did I did use um a watercolour pencil most for most of it. Sounds that easier than the paintbrush, but uh, mm. That's what yeah. I said last week, wasn't it? Mm. Get more control in the sort of final yeah. bits. Then I sharpen mine and it all fell apart. <laughs> 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 right, mm. yeah, I didn't bring I, my pencils this time. I only had the, the oh, crew. Right. And I didn't really have a very fine brush either. So it was a bit of a nightmare. Right. Never well, then. Mind. I tried. It wasn't horrendous. <laughs> mm. I try not to think about doing it right-handed or off-handed. I don't think I could cope with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. it makes me, it's a bit like eating paper. I said that before. <laughs> it makes you feel yuck. <laughs> or it does me. Well, this week's one's going to be interesting, I reckon. Hmm. Anybody? Uh, where is it? There he is. When it's streamed to the other, we go from one eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there he is. Hmm. Enough hair there, anyway. I could, yeah, I zoomed in earlier and I thought, been there, drinking white cider. Not good stuff, that. Hmm. God, no wonder he's got a smile. <laughs> <Freaking> <laughs> up. That's an instant stiff neck and a headache, man. Mm. And feel it in the back of your neck as you drink it. Mm. Quick, what's it called? It a quick fix. Mm. It's terrible, strong stuff. Dirt cheap as well. I did a a sort of black and white Tony one. Because um, I, I thought you might be able to see more of some of the information on the, let's do the shoes and that and the jacket. But then again, I, I'm thinking, do I want more information? It's bad <laughs> enough as it is. No, I think there's enough on there. <laughs> yeah, you know, I sort of started to sketch it. I, I, like I say, I've been doing it on these. Um, yeah. How do they? Pieces of um, 
What's it called? Oh, no, detail sort of paper. It's not tracing paper. It's beyond. It's the next thing above. Yeah, because I find if I put all that on my paper and, and all the bits that you keep rubbing out, it gets really quite dirty. Yeah. So that's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. I used to, years ago, I used to use um, kitchen, you know, grease proof paper. Oh, grease proof paper. I never thought that, of it. The trouble with that stuff is it's all curly and. Yeah. You could you iron know, it. Iron it out. But like so you can see, I tape it down and then draw the grid and then use the picture just to get an outline and then just sort of transfer it over using some um, trace down paper. I think I gave you some of that, didn't I? Or you got some? No, I, um, I have, yeah. I bought some more, yeah. Yeah, it's, in, it's good stuff. I mean, you, there are other ways. You can always turn it, flip it over and mark one yeah. side with a pencil, like a soft pencil like you used to do at school, and then trace that over. But the trace, the only problem with this, doing it this way, well, it's not a problem, it's something to be aware of, is um, as you start, I use a biro to press it, you know, to trace it down yeah. through the trace down paper. Once I've positioned it incorrectly this week on the on my subject area, on my paper, and uh, but it will as you if you put your hand over bits as you as you start from okay. the top down, it sort of rubs it off a bit and fades it off. So you have to be a bit careful. I use another bit of tissue over the top of it to rest my hand on while I'm sketching it through. Yeah. But once you've put, once you've done it with a biro, that's why I do it. It's there permanent now. Mm. Ish, it won't rub off the biro, so that's why I use it. I can't remember what it's called. That stuff. <coughs> I think I, t I mentioned it before. Should we have a go? At it? <laughs> mm. uh, rumor has it the early lunches. Out the window. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, God. Two changed. weeks to do this one. <laughs> yeah. You'll be all right. You can just do Two the beard. Just paint his <laughs> beard or something. <laughs> I think I might have a go like Joyce does and do it all different colours or something. <laughs> well, that's the beauty anyway, that we all do it totally different. He's younger than he's Dave, who is Steve Lydon? I don't know. Hang on. <clears throat> Isn't he one of the punk punk singers? Not no. seasick, Steve, is it? Hear me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. So just no, it's not him. That's one of the Sex Pistols, you're on about. Yeah, that's what I was no, thinking. No, it's not him. It's oh. just a, a photographer off of Paint My Picture. Oh, right. Oh. Do you think he's a man of the road, or do you think he's not? No, I don't think he's a man of the road. I don't think so. No, I think he's posed. Too smart for that. <laughs> yeah. He does have a, a nice jacket, a, a leather jacket mm. and a posh yeah. cowboy coat. Yeah, that's a leather coat, isn't it? Kind of recognise the face. He might be. I don't think. I think. I don't know. I, I thought that the the name of the Leiden bloke was the photographer. Oh right. Ah. Hmm. No, I'm not sure now. Anyway, no. colour wise, you're going to look. You know. <laughs> think what I'm going to. Going to use a small. I've still got a bit of the um, neutral tint. Well, I was using. I remember from last week. I was using uh, Terry's. Oh, not midnight green. Hang on. Mm -hmm. oh, that'd be interesting. Shadow. And I've got a tube of this, and I've had it for a couple of years. 
So I've started using that as the neutral, as a neutral color, rather than use up all my expensive turquoise paint. But you can add a bit of turquoise to it. Fine if I, can you see my picture all right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but if you get a bit of that, Terry's, it's the same sort of purpley off white color anyway. Off white, what am I on about? <laughs> Neutral tone, but you can add a little bit of blue to it. What's the other one is using mixed, mixing light red. So you get the same color, light red and the turquoise gives you the same color anyway. So I'm just saving paint really. Well, I'm not, I'm not saving it. I'm just using up paint that I <laughs> didn't think I was going to use. Just sitting there and I bought, I must've got excited about using, um, using it. Cause I've got about, I think at least two tubes of the stuff to get rid of, to use up. <laughs> So anyway, I've penciled a few bits in. Let's find some shadowy bits. And I did notice so I'm going to make a nice weak watery view of this. I did notice that um, the top half of his face is um, in sort of shadow. Up here, where the brim of the hat is, I presume. The hair was distracting for me. Um, why do I say that? Because I could it when I sketched it, it seemed wider on his on the side that you know it's in. And it looked on the photo, so I'm still the jury's out on that a bit. Find some shade. That's the boring bit. I'll put some on his beard, I think. Well, the photo's calling itself. And the really, it's the easy bit, isn't it? Just find a few. The one out six gives him called light. Shadowy bits. C six D. That's his nickname. The hard bits, the hands. I've noticed them. Did anyone else look at them thinking, uh oh, oh. Well, you it was great having the grid because you know it does help. I think he's been in America a long time. Wow. Whoops. Get back. Just gonna pet a Light blend of that over there. Definitely shade. And one thing if you zoom in to the picture on on your screen, the um there's more detail in <laughs> in the eyes. Than you can see shade under the I'm just dabbing it in with a, with a soft with a little soft brush, a little small one. Put a few flakes in there. Establish my. Pitch. Say the hard the bit that was scary. Might need a rigger for this. Was the hands. So I sketched them. It's like a famous face. But I'm not sure. Right 
how how to the fingers to get the fingers spot on. I've got no chance. They look. I think when you when you come to sketch it, you sort of look at, stand back, look at it, and think that ain't right. That don't feel right. So you sort of got to go with those sort of feelings. Just go with how you feel about it. Stephen G. Jim Wall. No, it's not. Early lunch, my foot. <laughs> Early lunch for next week. Yeah, have a nice easy one next week. Well, I think, I think the, the um, it's a bit slow. The, it's always the the bit at the beginning tends to be like this bit, isn't it? Is where you got to establish some. Mm some shadows or some tones but you can use a bit of artistic license <clears throat> well a lot of it in fact but i have painted some lines where i thought um uh where the creases are on shirts and things like that Just want to make it. I think the thing to do is to make a mark. I'm using this this sort of way of saying, right, get a bit of neutral colour and establish some some marks, some dark areas, some shadowy bits. Tends to tease the little rascals out, doesn't it? <laughs> well, what else? Um, it's definitely... There's so many decisions to be made, though, because you've got... Um, the dark area where he sat on, you know, where his coat and his jacket blend and mix so you think is it is it isn't it <laughs> is it a jacket is it shade is it dark but you can't i don't want to um paint that that amount of detail so that it ends up being like the photo so you've got to make some choices some decisions and just trying to think and then you get to a place like that you think what the, what did i sketch there i think there's a that's that bit where it is now and there's a triangle oh i see what i've done there's a sort of a shady triangle in here lovely jubbly Boots, yeah, definitely. And all I'm doing is, I think, it's just whacking in some pointers for later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trainer, it's a trainer line. There's a pair of trainers together, sideways. Yeah. I think there's one lying down. That's not so many fireworks this year. A few Adelaides. Yeah, we went to a display. Yeah. Six mini oh. handling. Ah, oh, right. Amazing. They do two, one for the children and one for the adults. So you get two displays. Oh wow. Yeah. It's That's cool. like I said last week, isn't it? The um the stamp hit one was cancelled because the gas coming out of the <laughs> yeah. ground. It'd been fun, wouldn't it? Watch a firework display and the, the bonfire <laughs> explodes. <laughs> well, interesting. I wonder about fun. Hmm. All those people getting zapped. So anyway. 
the weather put people off, I think. Mm. There's loads at Sixney Hanley still, but the garden ones probably won't. <clears throat> well, being a litter picker over the park, yeah. I was quite pleased because if the stamp it one's on, I was dreading it because I, you know, because across the road, the, the fish and chip shop. Oh. <laughs> so the first thing they're going to come out of the, the stamp it firework display, walk down the road to the chip shop, that go into the park, sit on the, one of the benches, eat the chips oh. or the and then throw the rubbish all over the place. So I had this mental image of Sunday morning, getting there and thinking, oh my. <laughs> I've even got an old charity bag in my back pocket, sat, you know, one of the big, like mm -hmm. a dustbin sat ready. I thought, oh, there's no way, there's no other way of doing it. Right, I'm gonna put some of this color on the bench as well. Oh, there it goes. Did you hear that? It was a roll. That brush just rolled straight under the... <laughs> board. And I was only thinking earlier, my new way of putting these bits of... Um, what do you call it? Towel. Flannel along there so that it stops the paint, the brushes from rolling off. That was just... A couple of hours ago. <laughs> Think, oh, that's, that's a good idea that day because it stops all that. Hmm. It's a blue doom that was. So I'm going to try and section off you know, one one side of me bench is higher than the other, which is great news, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want a wonky bench, do I? No. Just establish a bit. I'm, it's probably because I'm sat down. I haven't heard from the church at all. I sent them an invoice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> You listen in church, I didn't. Mm. I should have, but I didn't. Down, down, down. That's it, finished, isn't it? On a mm. roller? Yeah, lovely. Thanks, mate. I knew you'd <laughs> like this one. Good start. <laughs> It reminds, doing this reminds me of the one we did of um, the lady in the antique shop. It's got a similar complexity feel about it. Did she, uh, she wanted to buy it. So I didn't want to sell it. So I told her it'd be six hundred quid or something. Wow! If you listen, Matt, listening, Mo, <laughs> it's gone down in price. I was only mucking about. <laughs> Try and find a straight line. What's the? Maybe you could have fun and just use the. Um, sepia one just use that next stage we want a bit of tone don't we bit of, I'm going to go um, point a bit of skin tone I'm still sticking with these same colours that I've been using for the last few weeks, which are um, peach, don't need a lot, do I? I've, I don't know why I've gone off onto peach now. That's another 
situation where I've got um I've bought the paint and it's sitting there and I'm thinking I've got to use use it up. Only problem with this Arshis paper, it doesn't. Well, it, it's so it's so destroying it is. It just soaks up paint like just eats it. I'm not mucking about today. Cobblers. I'm just going to put in some colour. Um, spread it about a bit. Lean in on it. I'm using up the colours from last last week. I was going to clean the palette. But the eye colours from last week were quite nice, weren't they? So it's quite a few of them. So I, I thought, oh well, I'll just blend them in. Try and find some fleshy bits. See if we can tease him out. It was a base colour of peach with a little bit of something on it out of the palette. Peach and stone, sand. Just want to set the set the ball rolling. Use your watercolour in it, you can just sort of ease out a few extras. Just add in a, once you put a base colour on, you can drop in brighter colours to see what, to bring out or tease out some extras. Set the scene. That's what, that's what I'm learning with this paper. Don't hang about. If it's once you've made something damp, <laughs> carry on. Don't normally what well, you make it while this is still damp, you let it set a little bit and then put your fleshy tones or whatever our colour you've got on top and they sort of mingle and blend but with this Arshie's stuff it, you haven't got the time it doesn't, it sinks into the into the base of the paper so quickly but it's like gone it's just so dry and carry on with this flesh tone uh neutral tone. See, it's still damp now now. So it's spreading as I use it. There's a bit of that. Still got a bit left here in the pot. It is. That's the peach tone. Don't forget to count the fingers when you draw it. I think at one point, sketching it, I think I ended up with about six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't tell me about it. What a fucking fiasco that was. Well, I've got the same colour around. I think I'll go over here as well. Conscious of the time, so slightly. Sometimes, though, when you rush, oops, a little bit wrong skin tone. Sometimes, when you rush, you get a better job. <laughs> you get a, a more looser feel to it, don't you? Mm. 
just want to change that color then. Yeah, that flesh there. I haven't opened up or used any of the um, Langton paper that arrived last week. Probably a minute you're chomping at the bit to use the new stuff, but you've got you've got to get rid of the others, the old stuff first. Um, yeah, I think you have. Well, that's me. Just add in a little bit of skin pinky came from over here from last week, which is which was just um whoops, flying artboard, raw sienna and alzerian crimson or is that called permanent rose? Same difference. Just boring. All you can do is keep think of one out. Put the the skin tone on top of the shadows and let it blend. You'll get a nice what's the, it goes a sort of a bluey, shady, shadowy. Nice colour. Gives it depth. Oh, white lightning. I suppose that's what you could call it. The white cider. White lightning. I think there was one called white lightning. Wicked stuff. Problem is, you can't drink it in moderation because it's they usually sell it sort of a quid for a pack of four. <laughs> Once you've got one day, and it was oh, oh bad old days, eh? Hey, big spender, love it. Red. I've got some skin tone in here. Right, red. Just block it in. I'm not going to make it as long as I've drawn it. I bet if you if you Google that name, um, Leiden or whatever it is, it might turn out. No. We've tried it. Anne's been trying it. Steve Lighton was the one in the. Which one was it? It might be a um, musician. He might have a, a spot on. Let's get a bigger brush here. <gasps> it's from the 1965 uh, hippie days in uh, America, Haight Ashton and all that. What is? Say that again. C6 Steve. No, no, that's nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. No, he's he's from hippie days, but because it these are blues plays a two string guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, we couldn't. And, find him. and he uses a stomp pad. Yeah. It's all right for about five minutes, and then you think I've had enough of this. Yeah. Well, that's just my opinion, but I wouldn't go to a gig and sit there all night listening to that. No. But and I could say that about all music, really. Ben's got his CD, but um, you are right-ish. Yeah. But it was it was John Lydon who was in the Sex Pistols and Oxford. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> but no, I couldn't find anything interesting on a Steve Lydon. Yeah. 
little bit of raw sienna on top of that, try and take it down a bit. I'm painting this picture in all in sort of reverse. Um, still there. Well, just in reverse. Then I'll add some stone here. June. Everyone loves June. Who is June? I don't know. No matter, June. That chair's not true. I had a friend request on Facebook the other day. I'm still there. I'm a lady called June. I thought, but I don't know you. You might be after my money. Might be after your body, Dave, for okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's going to have to, it's not going to happen. Don't know me very well. <laughs> oh dear. Just don't make me laugh. I'll just start thinking about strawberries and bottoms. That's me. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Isn't it funny? There's some. Some daft things make you make you laugh. <laughs> and that was one of them. Well, and it remains one. Right. Here we go then. What do you reckon? Because it's not a fact. Burnt Sienna? Look at this. I put them spread in the Gospel here. Yeah. Message fails. Oh, there's everywhere. Let's get some more stone. And fill in this. All confused. Just want to put some colour down, really. Just to say. So account services will not be available until you sign in again. It's coming through in the one. <laughs> Brilliant, that is. There, we've got something on there. It's good colour. Stone. Going going on in the um, financial markets and financial areas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ruby. You said you were supposed to be sitting with Gladys that day. Favourite colour. I think it's one of my favourite colours, stone. Right. Let's mix up some burnt sienna. Seems to be my um this top left hand corner of my Palette seems to be the anything goes color palette. Oh, there we go. Big sigh. <laughs> oh, that letter was from him. Mm. Oh, just come in. Bit of water. Rip it out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Got my couple mind. Which
Right, see you then. Does it ignore me driving by some separate station? Yeah. Truth Chapel. Nice colour, isn't it, Brian? It's you know, such an earth, an earth colour, isn't it? Shame I'm going to spoil it by adding some burnt amber to it. Make it a bit darker. And with some of our, our neutral friend. And drop some of that in as well. Hopefully it's still nice and damp. Be nice. Be kind to me. A nice, gentle blend of colour. Brilliant. Now we can go down. I don't know what I tend to try. What I'm trying to do is um, use different variations of the same colour to tease out some interest. Just look for shapes, really. Luckily, this brush has got that fine point on it, so you can just dab in some, some finer lines to it. Yeah, I'm busy. Yeah, what do you want? How do you get? How do you get one? To the, well, I've, I've just managed to get into the line down there. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. But press, the press that very often what you can do well, you know, I'm trying to flick it up and get rid of all the background you, one good way of doing it is to move from one area to another let, let it dry yeah so if, while I'm down here that is slightly drying off so what was it on Safari? in a minute so you just push it up to a small picture right there once I finish flaffing around here, a bit up there will be slightly drier. You push them so when I put new paint on it, it'll it'll come out as a different, a slightly different yeah, tone. I don't see any bit of umber, burnt umber. No, that's only to close. Well, that, yeah, that's right. <coughs> drop that in. And my neutral tint and drop in as well. And walk away and cry in your milk. Move off to another bit. Try and enhance it. Usual thing, isn't it? Watercolour, just playing with water. Things. So let's get some dark. Very cool. Well, I started watching a TV program last night. It came up on iPlayer on thing. I think it was Canada. Some bloody all about a serial killer. Yeah. He's killing these blokes and putting them in plant pots. <laughs> he was looking after some people's garden, this sort of landscape gardening. They didn't know. Well, obviously they didn't bloody know, but yeah. Huge, big, big um, plant pots. 
There's about seven or eight people. <laughs> what are they on? That he chopped up and put in a flipping flower pot. That's a bit of a weird photo. Nice bit of bedtime viewing. <laughs> well, I, I got to this the second instalment. I thought, Do you know what? I don't. I've got the gist of this now. <laughs> it's not very pleasant. Yeah, in Canada, in the gay community. <laughs> oh, he's getting rid of the gays, was he? He was gay himself. Oh, I was. There was one occasion before they managed, they sussed out what it was going on. The police, and they, he picked up another bloke, and the police were trying to get in to arrest him. And the lift was broke or something. No, the brisk lift was full and going really slow up 19 floors to this building. And of course, this, he's already entrapped another bloke. And I'm pretty sure they, they managed to get break the door down before <laughs> before he killed him. But cool, flipping out. No, I don't think I'll watch it. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Put you off your dinner. So the, today's theme theme, theme colour is shadow. Yeah. I mean, I put a big square of it on earlier on. And it seems to be the, the in tone for the day, really, because... Everything's in in that sort of vein. Where does one? Well, the ex. I mean the the exercise really is like I said just now was about is about was is about um, approach moving around different bits of the painting with the same color. By doing that and the way it dries, it's giving you variations of that colour, you know, sort of giving you sort of shades and tones. Burnt umber and blue. More burnt. The other trick we discovered a few weeks ago, if I remember rightly, was if we take some green, my paint's not not as um, flexible um, solid boil as I thought it was. I always spray it the night, you know, during the day before Tuesday, sort of during Monday, I try and reactivate your paint. But green, wouldn't it? Green and... The red, you like your, your red, makes a nice off black. Yeah, I can go there. I'll do that again over the other side. So I used blue, oops, blue and burnt umber to start with. Luckily, this brush soaks up so much blooming paint that you can dab that on first. Probably get it in here as well. Don't fancy doing this with plaster on. <laughs> Right-handed. I wouldn't get. I wouldn't be able to do it. Then with the the other mix to give us another an alternative shadow tone dark black i don't I hate using the word black in watercolor 
even though some of the greatest artists that I watercolor that I used to follow as a lad, like what's his name, Edward Sego, and guys like that, they used to use Mars black a lot. No, that black in the sky. Mm. I never, I didn't quite work that one out. Well, I, I understand it, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Maybe I'll have to revisit that. Edward Sego was a um, famous, well-known doodle. Mm -hmm. The Queen Mother used to buy his paintings. And I'm pretty well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he tutored um, Prince Charles. Well, it certainly helped him out when he was a kid, because some of his watercolours, old Charlie's, are quite good. Quite um, polished, because he used to do it, didn't he? We used to go on holiday, climbing up Mount Kilimanjaro and taking pictures, uh, painting pictures at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lay a leg for me. It's that sort of picture, in it? You sort of do a bit and you think, cool, oh, what's the. I'm always saying this lately. The god of painting would come down and finish it off for me. <laughs> we'll be saying that next week. Yeah. Gosh, it looks complicated, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's a good. Ex well, what I'm saying is it's a good exercise as I say in, in using the same colours different in different areas to give a different effect does that make sense yeah mm -hmm. by moving to a different part of the painting and then as as it as it dries, it gives you, you can go back. It's not bone dry, but it's just, there's enough um, moisture on the paper just to let it blend into what you've done before. And it gives you those nice um, effects of texture and shadow. Like as it's drying, there's things happening on on the trousers there that you think oh yeah right that's cool it's going it's like you know it soaks into the paper differently in different areas loving it and then you you need to go back on another area strengthen your paint up or get some, look at it and think oh there's a dark bit there there's just a dark streak there and hopefully you'll get some, well, you will. It's not hopefully, you'll, you'll definitely get the the run of the luck. Mm -hmm. It's one of these um, pictures. I don't envy Chrissy using a credit, so I wouldn't know where to start. quite honest because it's painting the reverse of the way that I'm painting now mm. really, I'm just not sure where I'd how I'd go one thing I'm going to do in a minute is introduce some gloss on I've got turquoise in here turquoise I'm just going to put a bit of that on my brush and use that to some effect. I know a lot of people sort of, or, lot, or quite a few watercolour artists sort of poo-poo the um, 
using, and I must admit, I've probably did it myself a while back in the past, using colours straight out of the tube. It does have its benefits in that you can repeat the tones or the colour over and over with no worry of you can well it's a base isn't it it acts as a a base color to drop all the other bits into there was a big sigh <laughs> didn't that come across Ooh. but if you see it all dribbled down to there and it sat there where the papers sort of dried there or dryer. I've just utilised that. Still got my shadow colour over here. Well, tone. So I can add that. So if you haven't got the a shadow in your armour, a tube of it, and just mix up a whole load of um, the shadow colour. Because as far as I can see, you're going to need a lot of it. Which is, what did I say it was? Um, light red and turquoise or blue. Burnt sienna and blue, that'll work. Video one. See if I can get a turquoise. Oh! Excuse me, sorry. And he fell off me brush then. <laughs> that was quiet for me, actually. It was a bit restrained, can I say? The dog's walking round now. <laughs> Oh, you cool. blow someone's eye out with that. Yeah. Mel does them. Yeah, yeah. She she does them and it's like it's louder than Concord taking off. <laughs> but in decibel terms, it, it definitely is. Yeah. Burnt burnt sienna. I'm just blocking it in, to be quite frank with you. Oh, cup of tea and biscuit time. I've, I've got to go for a minute. I'm going to make a cup of tea and a biscuit, apparently. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Anybody else want one while I'm here? Yeah, yeah we'll have one. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah thank you very much. I'm trying not to think about food. My tummy's starting to rumble. Sorry, sorry. sorry. It's good colour though, that turquoise. All those years I've been painting, I didn't didn't know about turquoise. What a it's waste of colour because everybody seems to be raving about tur turquoise. Is it new? Say that again. Is it a new colour? New to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm... It's new. Everybody <laughs> seems to love turquoise at the moment. Yeah. I think, well, I only came over it or came towards it because of we were painting portraits and a lot of forever artists have used it as a, a base colour for painting, you know, under flesh and under paint for flesh. So that's where it started for me. All right. By, you know, watching how other people were doing it. And that was one of the colours that kept coming. Who was it? Mark Entwistle, brilliant artist. For 
very thoughtful guy. Not sure how well trained he is, but he uses. I think it was him that told. Yeah, he he. Was, I learned quite a bit off of him. Um, watching his sort of movements was the green and using the red gives you a nice um, dark greeny tone. Uh, black gives you a nice sort of shade. Better stand up and see what I've got you. Right. Do that a lot. It's trouble if you sat down painting. You can't sort of visualize what you've got. Where you're going wrong. All right. Are we going wrong or what are we going wrong? Frustrating, really, because you've got some really nice work going on. Yeah, anything. Same with all these pictures, you get good patches and not so good passages. I noticed last, I keep saying this over and over, but a lot of these watercolours, they they change two days later. They're, they, they're totally different. They dry back so well yeah. and blend. It's really strange. Well, I find it strange. Isn't it? Well, strange, but comforting. Because it's, you think, oh, that's really nice now. <laughs> yeah. It's really looking good. I think if you... Yeah, I think. Yeah, you can have it if you want. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Oh, I'm just wondering why... With brush, these mop, little mop things, you can sort of do a bit and go off and they, well, they hold so much paint. They have nice points as well, don't they? They have, haven't they? Look, no, I've had it for a while now and it's not changed. It's the same, same as it was oh, ages ago. Mm. I thought it I was thinking at the time maybe it'll wear out but it seems to have hung, hung about they're squirrel aren't they are they squirrel hair yeah yeah, yeah. from um, rosemary yeah yeah I got one I don't know what this calls it yeah Pure Squirrel Series 170. Yeah, whatever that is. Whatever that is. Yeah. Nice brush, though. Only, my only caveat on it is you've got to watch it when you, it sucks up all the paint out of your palette. <laughs> then you think, oh, I haven't got much paint, but it's all on there. Just mm -hmm. like goes slurp and that's it all gone this is a funny picture though because it's so much um of that sort of tony gray color that you know the whole whole picture you can have fun with it and, and amend your pit amend the tones to suit your mood <laughs> Raw sienna. 
earth colors though all earth colors don't they well apart from the guitar strap perhaps you can probably surmise I'm just um going for it now now what about the hat I've left it to dry forever. Bit of that dew colour, stone if you like. I'm just going to dab in some raw sienna. Here and there. Sometimes you don't need any colour at all, do you? Just leave it alone. Or lift it off. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my tissue in one hand, so I'm just lifting it off now, as usual. Spend all that time putting paint on, and then an ordinate amount of time lifting it back up. Just as much. Need a smaller brush now. I think we're... I'll find some... Interesting bits. Do the finger work. I couldn't quite see why the end went the adjustment. Right. Because there was an end left. Yeah. So there's an end one of us had got to eat. I wanted to cut you a nice brush slice so without an end two on. Ends. So I ended up with two ends on the plate <laughs> and the good one for you. I got two crappy cross. It's all about the more you get into it, the more you think it's just about different finding different um, strengths of shadow, painting the negative, isn't it? It's what we're trying to do. There's a nice bit down here that we could really work a bit harder on. Oh. New water, so we can blend that around. A bit more scope now. We'll see you then. Turquoise. Now, decision time. Yes, just there. I'm going to make that area dark. That was hard work. Camera challenges tonight. I won't need much time this week. You guys are going to have fun with this. <laughs> going over to see Chris. All right, Chris would be better off doing it <laughs> with just the one arm. <laughs> Can I give him one arm as well? <laughs> yeah, <it's fair. laughs> I'm going to ring up the hospital in a minute. Tell him yeah. when she turns out. Can you just take the plaster off? <laughs> Put it back on next week if you want. <laughs> He's got an important picture. Oh, didn't mean to do that. He's got an important picture to paint. Well, if I did it there, I'll have to do it over here. 
I've been trying to think what this picture reminds me of because I can remember it now. Um, do you remember the Capo di Monte um, figures? There was one that my dad had of a, a tramp or two tramps sitting on a bench. Oh, yeah. Do you remember okay. that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, my, my dad had that one. Oh, really? Yeah. No idea what happened to it. <laughs> no. These things just vanish, don't they? Yeah. Yep. I'll have to go around hands in a minute, check all the covers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not bad. I've left the um, guitar alone because I wasn't sure what. Well, it's got to be a nice. Shade of raw sienna, isn't it? Drop in some burnt sienna. You can also you not paying Just to give it that bit of warmth. So it's raw sienna, and then blend in some. Burnt sienna while it's still damp. You can always tighten it up in the days to come. A bit strong. Like I say, I think it's a. Joyce sent me an email the other day Let's see um the saa one of their challenge like paint um paint picture in 30 30 minutes i don't think this is one of them <laughs> yeah. how's her husband is he better now sorry How's her husband? Because he had COVID, didn't he, last week? Yeah, I asked uh, if they were feeling better. She, she said, yeah, it seemed to have survived all right. Yeah. He looks a bit... He looks a bit... Mm. All over. Never mind. Bring an outsider. I told you not to. <laughs> it's true. You don't want to mess with that stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm tempted to. Mm, I'll try just to add a little bit of. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it, leave it alone. If anything, you want more colour on there, it needs less. Let's lift it off. Put more there to lift the uh, item stand out a bit. Wow. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be 10 minutes ago. I'm going to show you that. Amazing. I don't know how you do it, Dave, in half an hour. <laughs> I'm, I'm painting a picture. In half an hour. It is possible, isn't it? Not this subject, I don't think it is. I think you'd be struggling. To be quite frank with you. Well, I would. 
Well, I suppose if you painted it, we painted it first, had a couple of goes at it, you'd probably be all right. A bit of ordinary blue on top of that. Otherwise, it's all going to be samey. That's going to dry back all right. The um, more birds, you know, here and there. And some dark, more shadow in here, I think. Can't do anything yet. Can you? Actually, that should be the last screen. Because that only parks them, doesn't it? That's what yeah. I mean. yeah. mm -hmm. I've got a red. What have I got? A bit of yellow, mm. raw sienna, and a bit of permanent rose. That could be a sort of a red. Mm -hmm. I know. I'll tighten that up later. Why? Yeah, so on top of that. Oh, <gasps> strong, one not it? This red button mushroom thing. The most, mm. most important thing is where you put that on the machine. Mm -hmm. It's trying to think where it's just there, isn't it? There's a line. I think I'll carry on where I just did that. There's a line there. Which I'm going to carry forwards over to there. And then add some turquoise and shadow onto that. Let's good mix that. Turquoise, raw sienna, and the shadow tone. While they're wet and just let them blend in, soften it down underneath with some. I missed a bit, sorry. Clean water and let the water do some of the work. Can we get it off? Turquoise, I'm going to put it there. Add a bit of shadow on top of that. Really have me all right with the water then. There we go. It's all going to dry it back considerably anyway. Lay a little egg for me. Tick, 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 tick. Right, bit of warmth in this bit area. Really There's a few bits I've missed, but I'm not going to cry over it. No, because I don't know what email it is. Yeah. I looked at emails, but I can't see them. It's all bookings. Yeah. So I don't think it's in there. 
It's a couple of time ago. Before yeah, it says, it? Um, what was it, July 22? No, my, see if I can find a fan brush for a minute. Oh, I think I'm conscious of the time. I think I'm probably running out. So that we don't want to Feels help. like I should be. We don't want help. We don't want help. It's just raw sienna. At the top. For a minute. Forget the guitar. I'm not worried about that. Right, I'm gonna have to go, Dave. And, um, well, I've tried oh. to rush. It's, I am rushing. Yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'll see you all next week. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you get on all right on Sunday, Anne. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. See you next week. Yeah. yeah. In the oh, bye. bye, everybody. Thanks, bye. Dave. Bye. Cheers, Paul. Bye. 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 Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Who> is this? <laughs> oh dear. Just mix up some greens and work them in. Let's frame it a bit. You can spend a bit more time and diligence on yours. Me, I'm just chucking it on, but. Sometimes adding a little bit, leaving a little bit of white is helpful. Um, why are you so happy? I oh, don't know, it's not very good, is it? Oh, I quite like this. Blues. I've got a commission for my son to do sometime. I've sketched it. I know what's putting me off doing it. It's because it's got um, lavender in it. And I, I've got this. I want to do it, but the lavender is, is slightly putting me off. Was it a landscape? Yeah, I have a building. This boss is building, so I'm dubious of messing it up. No, no, messing it up. That's not the word. Of I just want to make it look interesting. It should be. It's one of those things you think I'll do it. I'll start tomorrow. I'll start tomorrow. Oh, it's too dark. The light's <laughs> not right. Yeah, but if I haven't got my eye code, get that a lot. Then email address, which I don't disclose to people. Like that. Um, when you come to do yours, you probably want to do the no, background and all that bit first. But well, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, I've decided. I'm going to. Not too bad. Get a pencil, a watercolour pencil. Google mail though, for anything. And a ruler. I don't let them keep throwing dark colour. I think last week I asked someone to pick a colour and it was the aubergine, wasn't it? Mm. <clears throat> nice colour that was. Quite like that. I don't know what colour that is. No, me, I'll pick up the same, the same colour. Midnight black. Oh, my God. Look out. I picked midnight. <laughs> I've gone from midnight black in today. So what I'm going to do is um, stick my ruler on there. And stick a line up. Try and get the gap 
fairly. Um, because of the nature of the beast, I'm not fussed if it smudges. The line that is, because I want it to smudge while it's wet. Keep my wipe the ruler off. Um, don't want it to go too close to him. Go back a bit. It's not too bad. I can go stop with the guitarist. Oh, it's working out all right. Is it more interesting? Here I am at London, sitting on a bench, drinking up me white cider. There you go. And you can always put a couple of lines across if you want to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lay a little. Ross liner, Ross for me. But you won't see them all, will we? Because there's flowers in the way. Hey, straight line, please. Sorry, mate. Yeah, some of that. We can work on those later on. Tidy them up. <laughs> and. It's not too bad, is it? It's a little bit like, yeah, quite happy with that. There's loads of loads of things to play with forevermore. Good on here now. Church farm, I've got a, a message from Peter. Mm -hmm. Tighten it up. Please find a men, amended welcome letter with revised price on after the rally we negotiated a better price. Please discard the previous letter. I didn't even know I got the first letter yet. I told you you shouldn't have taken it anyway. Right? <clears throat> Let's calling going to lunch or? Everything. When you decided that I wouldn't do it. No, where she's going? Oh, we've got a curveball. Oh, no, I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean, if it had come through on my phone, I would have checked it every day, but you don't. That's all. Therefore, you get them late. Find any little highlights to fiddle in. You deliberately left a bit over there. What with Jeremy Corbyn beard, isn't it? <laughs> Just had a few bits here and there. Goes up there, doesn't it? And he's definitely got some white on there. Ooh. Careful, Dave, that's a bit dark. And don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. No, that's a deliberate. Lot of mix up a bit of grey tone. Mm -hmm. Feel like an artist now. 
<laughs> you can blob the color on and then add in more color on top. So this is very acrylic based way of doing it. Just to make it look more interesting. Ah, sorry, mate. Got a mole. <laughs> That's the problem with using your brush in the funny fashion. I think his hair wants to get a bit down there. Quite the right colour. Ish. These things go. Just a bit of a mix of brown on there, just to add a few bits here and there. So there's definitely a shadow where the, the hat meets the you know. Same there. Just a little tinge of shadow there. Isn't it? Trying to sparkle him up a bit. Mm -hmm. Anyone who had a heart, look at me. It's all going to dry back to back a nice notch anyway. And some of the bits right there of. of Got yucky. Just add a few bits to it. On my sound hole. And when it's dry, I'll, I'll put some strings on with a little a white um, watercolor pencil. Just put a couple of lines down there, and that'll sort. Sort that out. Yeah, so later on, it's just a matter of tidy, tidy up, really. What I could do if it's a, a shady bit? Well, this is going to be. Oh, that's not too bad. Sorry, I was thinking out loud there. Just going to put a shady bit in there and draw it across. Consequence. Do it one side. You'll have to do it the other side to balance it up. Don't like that straight line. I have to rub that out when it dries. Oh, that was one thing I was going to do. It was in my sight. So I've got the rigor and a little bit of white. It's, to, no, it's still a bit wet. Was to whack in a few laces. Some description, I'll have to wait till it's dry. But you get the drift. What's going to happen? Want them to be quite bright so that when it's dry, they'll, <clears throat> when it's dry, they'll stand out like a dim dark what's it? And then the other place, I need to make it drier. Um, 
what we're going to do is the rigger and just put some dots down there. Makes it gives it a feel of a, a zip. Need a little bit of tone on this thing. Uh, we could play with it for hours, couldn't we? You can see paint just sitting there waiting for me to stick my arm in. Yeah. Give us a straight bit of tissue. I'll we'll come back to that at another point. Already that up. Like I say, all I need to do really is put some white dots and a bit of pencil work down through there. And I don't think that's too bad a morning's work, that to be quite honest. Play with it for a while, but yeah. yeah. A bit of a rigor. I have to say the real the real um lesson Depends. here has been doing a bit, moving somewhere else, doing a bit, coming back. But that's the nature of the beast yeah. when you're painting. Yeah. Should send one arm telling you how much to pay. Yeah. They're actually sending a copy of your booking form back to you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to have a go now? Well, you've already yeah, got that on the other one. <laughs> Sorry, David. Sorry. What's he saying? Sorry for what have you done? He was talking over you, Dave, about the camping club. Oh, oh I wasn't. Sorry. I was focused on. That's all right. Um, what was, that wasn't me, was it? He was complaining. Anyway, I was, all I was saying was, <laughs> that's easy to go at this then. I think when it's, I'm at the stage where I want it to rest and dry and then I'll come back and have another play. Well... Mm. I, I always, I, I say that quite often, but invariably I don't. <laughs> I leave it. it. As I say, it dries back and it doesn't look quite quite as... It's very good. Yeah. I mean, I can, as it dries back, you can start adding little tony bits here and there. To add a little bit of thing. The only I can't affect the fact that um, his hands are what they are. They they they. It's always the problem when you do these things. When you put the you paint the face or the 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 handy bits first, and then when you put the you know the jacket on and the hair and all the rest of it, it suddenly changes the balance of it all. The hands become, well, in this case, they sort of melted back a bit, but it's, to be quite honest, I don't think, there's not much I can do about it. Well, not at the moment. Maybe if it dries back, they might stand out a bit more and, and add a bit, lift a bit of colour on <coughs> here and there. But no, I'm, I'm not un unimpressed by it. A few bits that need tightening up. 
but I need to wait until it dries up. And I, I, I as you know, I don't like using the hair dryer on that. That one? some of these bits because it spoils it. You can't zoom in on it. But this beard, I can tidy that up and make it look more scruffy. Just a few jerks with it, a few dabs with a what's it called? Watercolor pencil or a scratch. Yeah, I've had enough. I'm bored. You can have a go. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll leave it a couple of days. I think see how my see what they say at the hospital yeah. in a bit. Good luck this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, David's going to pick me up at quarter to two. The appointments are quarter past. Yeah. Oh, super. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm getting hungry. Mm. Yeah, the Sainsbury's have just turned up here. Oh wow, you'll have plenty to eat then. <laughs> it's quite a hard picture. This it's quite a busy picture with mm -hmm. with like a like I was going on about it, finding you mixing up paint and you but you want the same color but different tone values of it. To, you know, to work out the lights and shade otherwise you just paint the whole thing one color and it doesn't look right so the only way of doing it is to put a blob one in one area and then move across to the other one to a different area um and then it, you know it'll dry back into the paper and then when you put some more of the same color in a different area it suddenly looks slightly different and they'll it works it's not an no. easy technique <laughs> i'll take your word for it yeah i don't think it's going to be easy yeah thank you very much yeah, yeah. See, see what we all turn up with next week um, <laughs> oh dear I'll, I'll bet I'll, I'll be surprised but at the end of the day if you want to just just do the portrait mm. just do the bloke nothing to stop Obviously. you doing that Okay. Take it out. I mean, I've done the whole thing or tried to. Massive. <laughs> right, I'm going to go now and get my. Next dinner. week isn't an easy one either. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give us a hint. What is it? <laughs> um, He's not going to say. <laughs> next week it's. Two secs. Got to log in. Okay. Hello, cookies. Next week it's Damien Hurst. Verity. Who gave me that? Don't know. It's a statue in the middle of. One of you told me to do it. It's um, Verity Damien Hurst. It's a plumbing statue in the middle of a. Oh, it's the pregnant one, is it? No, oh, that's what it is. Is it? I didn't know. Oh, yeah. It's You're a pregnant, pregnant woman. Mm. Look like <laughs> in front of St. Michael's Main. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Il Ilfracombe Harbour, isn't it? Ilfracombe Harbour, then. Yeah. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. So I didn't do it. Somebody gave it to me. So very strange. Well, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lady coming next week, a new lady as well for that one. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. Give her a welcome. Yeah, I think if you sketch it, it'll be okay. Mm. It'll be fine. You can't go wrong. So it's very old anyway. Turquoise. It's turquoise. Is it? Is it copper that's gone for a degree? Yeah, that's right. So it's, yeah. so it's got that turquoise feel. Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, see how we get on this week. Good week, everybody. Yeah. Let's okay. Yeah. We'll be able to say hello to Noreen, I think it is next week. Yeah. Good luck to you, Chris. Yeah. We're ready. Thanks, Carol. Bye. <laughs>
Bye. Good luck for Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Nadia. Yeah. Good luck say, <laughs> What time have you got to go? One o'clock. All right. Who are you seeing? Um, the endoscopy clinic. Yeah. All right. Oh well. Yeah, it's the clinic. Thank you, Carol. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, we'll send, Be brave. We'll, yeah, we we we'll <laughs> yeah. send love at one o'clock next Sunday. Yeah, then. you'll feel all our love coming. <laughs> Thank you. Okay then. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Cheers, Corey. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh.